Good evening. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you uh, value conversion with the I value L converter uh, in C sharp WPF. Uh, we have a options to convert any types to the another by using the I value L converter interface. When you convert that uh, one type to another, that need to I value L converter interface. That interface convert uh, implement two methods. Uh, first method that is convert and second method that is convert back. In the convert method, you can pass uh, the input value and the convert back object use the target value. Okay. Yeah. So create a new uh, WPF project using Visual Studio 2013 and any. Okay. So uh, that's the simple XAML code. That is the default XAML code. You can say that. Remove the grid from uh, grid here and add a new stack panel. Control. First of all, resize that XAML window in place of uh, the designer window. So, add a new stack panel. Stack panel. Oops. Stack panel. Oh, <laughs> that is a mistake. Sorry. Inside the window, you can add uh, the controls. So here you can add the stack panel, stack panel, horizontal alignment, uh, add a text box here. In this example, I will show you when we uh, put any text in the text box, then respective uh, types will represent in uh, under the text blocks and the checkbox. Uh, suppose uh, you write no, then generate the false value as well as the uh, checkbox unchecked. Okay. So here we have uh, two uh, outputs. That is uh, the string convert into the boolean types. Okay. So that uh, text box is the name is T1 and that used for the entering the value of the string type and the wrap panel is used for or display the outputs or you can say that display the convertible outputs okay so in the wrap panel we have a text block control uh, two text block control one takes the simple text and the second uh, text block contain the binding that element name is t1 so that is simply binding with the uh, text box path is the text and the convert converter is a static resource and i will implement the uh, static resource by using the class and add that class in this xaml code okay so after that add a new checkbox control and uh, each checked property is bind with the again check uh, text box and the convert by using the convert static resource binding element t1 path text text and the converter is used here that is static resources okay that's fine and content is default yes okay now add another class convert the string value to the boolean types by using i valuable converter you can put 
some margin here inside the stack panel margin is 15 pixel oops margin 15 pixel and inside your wrap panel also add a margin 0 and 15 pixel okay now add another class that implement by the i variable converter so class and the class name is you can uh, take huge size value so class converter example you can define your name <coughs> in class of converter example that implement is must with the i value converter i value converter and i value converter interface available in system dot does dot data <coughs> sorry and implement interface that interface provide two methods convert and convert back and in the convert object we have a value that's input from the text box so comment it and by using the switch iterations we can iterate our inputs so switch and the input is exists in the value value dot to string okay so now suppose you enter a yes value and you enter to no value so what we happen case suppose you enter yes then return true okay case no we have two options only yes and no so uh, there is no well uh, there is no options for the default so remove the default from here so if you get no as a string then return false so remove the default value return by default false Okay. Now in the convert back we get a value as a boolean. So value the default value is boolean. So value is boolean. Bool value is true if you get a uh, true value then return on the checkbox yes that's the string type return yes else written no okay add a namespace xmlns 
column local you can take another name here equals to uh, first of all check the name space yeah convert ex so search convert ex yeah convert ex is available add a window resource so window dot resource oops the dot resources add static resources local colon converter example x colon key the name of the convert example you can take your value convert xm fine now copy that convert exam and paste here space and paste it here save this and start it yeah <coughs> when we enter no that default okay yes for the default value is true true no that is no again pass the yes yeah so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to WPF thank you thank you very much again please subscribe my channel if you want to learn many more things about WPF and I promise you I will provide you better video tutorials which is related to WPF